Where is Congress at? They're on vacation. Where is the Senate? They're on vacation right now. We have, uh, you know, we're at war, as you know, with these these infidels, uh, these uh, with these terrorist organizations, the Muslim Brotherhood, ISIS, uh, Al Qaeda. They're all part of the Muslim Brotherhood, are they not? All these organizations are part of one big organization. Hamas is part of the Muslim Brotherhood. Tell me if I'm wrong there. They, if they want to be, and, and here's another key here I want to bring up. If they want to have the nuclear bomb to be dropped on them, why can't we just provide that and give it to them? Why, why not just, you know, uh, compensate and give it to them? You know, why not just, just say, okay, fine, you want, you, you, want, you want to go back to the Stone Age? We'll accommodate you to go back to the Stone Age. We'll drop it on you. How about, and the problem, right, Rose? Uh, tell me if I'm wrong there. Go right ahead, Rose. Well, I believe that, you know, that the American people are waking up. And I believe that, um, you know, because they place so many laws, uh, unconstitutional, illegal, unlawful laws, uh, they presented them by usurping the Constitution, that uh, it's not going to be possible under this current regime to, uh, to fly drones because, their passion appears to be not with America and Western civilization. They have not, they do not have a proven track record. If you look at their past history, uh, under the Clinton administration, they attacked Americans on American soil yeah. and they killed them. Federal, they ordered the federal government to kill Americans, pregnant women, women and children and men, uh, because they ran out of patience with their excuse at Waco. And then they, uh, and the survivors, they charged them with the crimes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then they, um, they, uh, uh, they attacked um, the, the family at Ruby Ridge. They shot the mother to death holding a baby on her porch, unarmed. Mm -hmm. They shot the little boy running through the forest back to his house with his dog. They shot him dead and they shot the dog. Right. Now, these should have been a clue to the American people mm -hmm. that something is wrong in River City. Right. And also, don't forget too, Ellen Gonzalez. Remember Ellen Gonzalez? ATF came in the middle of the night and, the, and, they, and they stormed in with uh, with guns. Remember that? And they what happened to Ellen Gonzalez? Well, he's 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 long he's long and dead now, you know. So you know he he got he got uh, he got tortured by uh, uh, by by drug cartels in Colombia. So he's he's long gone now. Well, also we 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 not only have to worry about the terrorists, uh, and we have these training camps all over the the uh, you can Google it, you can see them all over our country that our government is not dismantling, and then. They have uh, the White House, uh, according to the news reports, uh, allows the government to spy on Christian churches, right. but they've exempted the Muslim mosque. Right. Why is that? Uh, what happened to justice for all? What happened to e equality and fairness? Uh, uh, what happened to our, our laws that everybody that's exempted is either the president, the vice president, and Congress, mm -hmm. and the federal judges, and the Muslims? Right. Yeah, we're going. Yeah, we're. we're yeah, we're, we're. Here's here's another thing here to look at. Okay, our system is is upside down. Okay, as a clear as as a given. All right. And here's one example I'm going to give you. Okay, we are. We have people, uh, you know, the criminals who are coming out of prison, right? They're and these guys are on death row. They're big. They're, they they are being released right now, right? But here, but, but are we doing anything to help our veterans in the VA system? No. Are they the ones are being are are, are 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 being hurt the most? Yeah, absolutely. So what are we doing? We're hurting the innocent, like the, the, such as our veterans in the VA system. But yet we're letting the criminals be be, be released, and they're actually doing a crime. You tell me if I'm wrong, there, Rose. Go right ahead. Well, they're probably going to recruit them into the uh, National Civilian Security Force, uh -huh. and uh, because as you can see, the uh, from police reports that are increasing with their attacks right. on Americans and breaking down their doors, they 
think uh, the majority are, but it is increasing. We're seeing more reports of them beating to death and tasering to death children and uh, and homeless and mm. poor, punching out women in the, the punch out game, uh, right? Sidewalk. I mean, this is an increasing movement here, right. and it's very frightening and very scary. And the reason it's happening is because. Uh, as Obama said, we are no longer a Judeo-Christian nation within the government, I want to add. Right. It's, it's not within the masses of the American people, and they know that. Right. So they're, they're indoctrinating those who are going to comply right. uh, with such a unconstitutional statement. Right. And uh, I want the American people to know that the U.S. Constitution is the United States of America. Mm. The United States of America is the U.S. Constitution. Right. Without the U.S. Constitution, there is no United States of America. Without the United States of America, there is no Constitution. Right. There are no three branches of government. We do not have to pay anybody without the Constitution. There's no taxation without the Constitution. So when President Obama says that the Constitution is meaningless and usurps it, and Congress sits by and does nothing, that means that we need to ask them, why are we being taxed? Why are you in D.C.? Why are you forcing us to pay for a meaningless Constitution and a meaningless Congress? Right. The Constitution no longer exists. We are no longer under your authority. Right, and here's the thing, too. You know, we got a not we got. One thing too, they're allowing a knockout game to happen. These guys, you know, innocent people who are walking down the street, the knockout game. And, you know, we also do have a, um, liberty and tyranny, you know. I mean, this is, I, I, I see what's happening right now, you know. It's just, it, we are stripping the black away community our freedom. needs to wake up, Mark. The black community is right. going to be depopulated first. Right. Blacks in Africa are going to be depopulated. Right. And well, they are. In my opinion, Ebola. of course, these are my opinions. Do not, you know, you do not have to believe anything I say. I'm just giving my opinion. Well, no, here's a great can. here's a great example. Yeah. Ebola. The the, 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 the yeah. Ebola virus is a great example. Ebola virus, you know, another form of AIDS that's coming out right now. So it's, it's you know, it's being transmitted to another form of disease. That's exactly what we're seeing right now. And, you know, we got typhoid, we got you got scarlet fever out there. They're coming back again. We got measles coming back. This is all coming from Africa. Why? Because all the crap that we're seeing right now, because we're not taking care of this country first. What we're doing, we're helping, the, we're, we're providing uh, uh, condoms to, uh, 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 we gave out, believe it or not, Africa has got three million dollars worth of condoms right now. And what happened? Ebola came out four years later. So there you go. Uh, well, it's not just Africa. It's 